AC6 fam. So today, Tricks on Tuesday, I'm gonna show you a recipe. My mama used to make these when I was growing up. These were like something she did all the time when we were swimming. And this was like my best memory being a child would be swimming and my mom would make these homemade pizzas. So she made them on English muffins. So as I developed kind of my own recipe as I've had kids, I make them on biscuits. And so I just get the original biscuits. This is a great, our kids love these. She loves these, I love these. But these are just a great easy, as y'all can tell, like a lot of easy stuff. We've got basketball tonight. We've been at tutoring. I just walked in the door at 6.30 and I just want to get dinner made quickly and have it be good but simple. So we're going to do homemade pizzas and let me show y'all the ingredients. So I use Pizza Quick. It's um, ragu pizza sauce and then pepperoni, mozzarella. I'm going to brown some hamburger meat tonight. I did pick up, let me show y'all this. I did pick up some onions and peppers to go on shays. And um, so yeah, this is gonna be real simple. I'm about to brown some meat. I'm gonna saute, I'm gonna saute these. Saute them up for the shay. And so stay, stick with me. I'll show you how we do it. Hey okay, y'all, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm just getting this meat going. Uh, seasoned it with lots of garlic, salt, and pepper. And I've got my butter melting. I'm gonna cut up, I'm just gonna dice up the, I'm gonna dice up Shay's vegetables because he is eating vegetable pizza. And so, it, so I bought these pre-made, pretty, pre-diced. Pretty onions, but I'm gonna dice these up. So give me just a minute and I'll show you what this looks like. Okay. So I've got his peppers ready to go. We're gonna throw these on. I'm gonna throw the onions in. I like to saute things before I add them as a topping so they're flavored and good. So you can do whatever toppings you want on this pizza. I normally just do hamburger meat and pepperoni and make it pepperoni and hamburger pizza. But I'm kind of doing this special for my husband since he's on the vegetable kit. I'll cater to him a little bit. So I just thought this is just going to go on top of the pizza. So then let me show you what I do next. And I've already got my oven preheating, by the way, to 350, because these are going to cook on. I want this. I'm going to make this super fun, y'all. Really cut up as I like. But we're kind of let that keep going. Let me show you how to do the crust. So I'm sauteing the vegetables in butter, garlic, salt, and pepper. So they taste good. So these biscuits that I showed you are gonna be our crust. So what we do, or what I do, is I take them and I just, I think this is called kneading. You just kind of make them thin and you knead them out. We actually, for Maverick's third birthday, we did a chef party and they made pizzas. So I gave each kid a dough and they got to get theirs all nice and big. So this is, this is the pizza. So we're actually going to make eight of these. So two per person is probably plenty unless you're Walker and you probably want four. <laughs> So when I used to make these for all of us, we had to do two cans of biscuits, but with, it's just Maverick and Memphis and Shay and I, so I just need to do one can, because two is plenty. I won't even eat two, I'll eat one. Um, 
so you get it nice and full like that. So that's your crust. Now bear with me, I gotta do that eight times real quick, so hang on. So that's what the dough looks like. And then I'm gonna just scoop straight from the ragu. You can use ragu or pizza quick. I used to use pizza quick, but I haven't been able to find pizza quick. So I've been buying this ragu pizza sauce. It's basically the same thing. So then I spread this out. Okay, go back. Okay. Spread that out. So you're gonna spread that out. Now the toppings are done. They got done while I was doing the crust but I'm going to heat this up first with this and the cheese, and then I'll add the toppings at the very end. You gotta do mozzarella cheese. One package will usually do this, all these pizzas. So see how simple this is? And you put the oven, did you already tell them 350? The oven's on 350. 350. It's heating up. <laughs> So as these are cooking, I'll kind of clean up. You may need, I bought two mozzarella. You may need two mozzarella. I think we do. Need one more. Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Yeah, we do. We need a little bit more. So to do a full eight pizzas, which is one. But those are the small mozzarellas. Yeah, these are the little so finishing up the mozzarella. Okay, so we've and got so mozzarella. These are already, we're gonna pop them gonna in. Make some pepperoni ones. Gonna make hamburger. Gonna make some vegetable ones. Which I added for, garlic, salt, pepper, for, and butter. For dad. Make some hamburger meat ones. So we're gonna pop them in the oven. And then once, I'm gonna try to time it for y'all. But what I do is once these, Start, the cheese starts to melt. I'm gonna go back and add all the toppings. So I'm gonna let that cook just a little bit and then pull them out and add the toppings on. These have been going about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna pull them out and throw toppings on and then put them back in. Yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. Mm. So these two are shays. Look at those. Mm, that looks good. I'm going to throw that back in. Good. I'm going to grab these. I'm going to put... You're, you're like digging those vegetables, aren't you? You're broken. Okay. You're going to put some vegetables on yours, huh? I may just need some vegetables. Oh. So we're going to do pepperonis, onions, garlic, salt, pepper, and butter. So, do you want um, hamburger on yours or just pepperoni? Pepperoni. Just pepperoni? Okay. What do you think? He wants one or two? Uh, one pizza or two pizzas? I'll just do two. Yeah, that's fine. So, you can take it to school too. So, see how big these get, y'all? Just kind of throw those on. And then I'm going to throw this hamburger meat on here. And then they're going back in the oven. This dough is not done. But if you pile it all on at one time, y'all, it, de it doesn't get as good and done. So it's better to layer it like this. Y'all, these are so darn good. They're fantastic. And I did, I know I already said this, but I want to reiterate that hamburger meat has garlic, salt, and pepper. She wanted it to be real flavored. And we're putting them on these. So. Did I do, oh, I only left one. Here, I'll put Okay, so then we're going to throw them back in. How long are they gonna go back in They're for? They're gonna go back in about 10 minutes, but I'll let y'all know, cause I kind of watch them. I cook on convect, so it cooks a little faster. So if you just have a regular oven, it may take yours a little bit longer. You wanna make sure the dough's done. And I do like to cook them on the bottom shelf because you want the dough 
to get done quicker than the cheese. That's why I've got them down there. Even though Combat cooks evenly, you'll still get them done on the bottom. So y'all, these are done. Took them about 10 more minutes and then they popped out. So we're ready to eat. Y'all, for me, life is little things. These are what we eat pizza on. I got these like years ago. <laughs> I've had these probably 20 years. So Walker and Waverly have grown up eating pizza on these, eating these. Well, and Maverick and Memphis are growing up eating on them. And, you know, we could eat on paper plates tonight, but we always eat pizza on our pizza plates. And that's just something, I think. I just think life is so much about little things that make things special. So you don't have to spend a lot. You get your one thing, you keep it and take care of it and you'll have it. So we're about to have our pizza. So they're ready to go. We do eat them with a fork and a knife because they're big. So dinner served, y'all. Music bed.